good morning we are from svs embedded the project title name is called home automation system using android and wi-fi or iot home automation using wi-fi in this project i am using in this project i am using some regulator power source transformer bit rectifier filter capacitor and 17805 regulator here i am using an esp8266 wi-fi module and uh, it is an uart wi-fi module having the board rate is 11500 so it is giving to the max 232 and i am using arm 7 lpc2148 student requirement 32 bit microcontroller and i am using one 16 cross 2 lcd display character lcd display and two relay coils bulb 1 bulb 2 and one led driver led on and off and one driver ic and one dc motor so this is the home automation unit three two relay coil two ac bulbs one led bulb and one dc fan so you can use android phone so arm 7 lpc 2148 16 cross 2 lcd display max 232 relay coil esp8266 wi-fi module bulbs and fans so this is my development board arm 7 lpc2148 so first of all i am using an uh, step step down transformer 230 input step down transformer 9 volts output ac with 750 milliamps current so it is giving to the bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator so here one led indication is there so it's an arm 7 32 bit microcontroller ic q dip quadrupole dual in package line having 64 pins port 0 and port 1 port 0 consists of 0 0.0 to 0 0.31 port 1 consists of port 1.16 to port 1.31 so here port 0.0, .0 and 0 0.1 is connected to the max 232 of the pins so here UART 0 so UART 0 is connected to the separate ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so UART Wi-Fi module having the board rate is uh, 115200 and working 2.4 gigahertz frequency and there is a password I given this is the unit ID is ESP8266 and the password is 12345678 so i configured this module is a hotspot module so here that 16th and 7th in one cap 6 and one cap 7 is connected to the two relay coils relay 1 and relay 2 and those are connected to the bulb 1 and bulb 2 and one led driver ac port 1 dot port to 1 port to 2 dot 1 dot 27 28 29 1 dot 1 dot 20 27 28 29 is connected to the some leds and one one p1.30 it is connected to the transistor bc547 transistor npn transistor so this dc fan needs high current purpose we are using one transistor so in our project so we have a two ac bulbs one dc fan and dc leds and here we are using an 116 cross 2 LCD display character LCD display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the LCD display so here first we need to go for the demonstration so I am giving the power supply so here IOT home automation using Wi-Fi okay so it will send the com it will send the some TCP IP commands to the ESP8266 module so open TCP IP and connect so now here I am using one Wi-Fi MCU app it is available from Play Store okay so clear all clear everything so first of all we have to go for the settings settings Wi-Fi here here why here uh, ESP8266 is there so I am going for a uh, I need to forget it then I'll give you the password
delete okay so here 8266 is there it will ask for the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 connect yeah authentication and connected uh, coming to the and then clear all clear data then go for es then go for esp8266 it will give you one pass ip address 192.168.4.2 so how it schemes setting setting so here one display name svs embedded you can give your name port number 192.168.4.1 oblique port number is 80 and here the local port number is 80 connection is TCP actually it is UDP UDP we have to configure as a TCP and portable screen keypad 9 text 30 as per your phone you can configure this small phone small icons big phone big icon 350 button 400 character width button spacing the how sending data there is visible or not sale set all buttons label color which color you required set your color button colors suppose I am going for a uh, green all green actually it is all or orange are there so you can see button color names okay now bulb 3 we are used LEDs now so I am say I am, I am changing LEDs so here visible buttons normal button all color label button color button command button command a a b b c c d d e b t 6 b t 1 we have to change a a we have to change b b b like that only back visibility color button command button visibility so button color reset template button color so button command button command and button label button label button label button label here button label it, it is a l e d s leds so you can observe it bulb one bulb two leds so now i am going for i am pressing bulb one on bulb one on bulb two on bulb two on bulb two on fan on fan on fan on right bulb two off bulb two off leds on leds on okay leds on or led on fan off fan off ac bulb one off okay ac bulb one off led off led off so this is wi-fi mcu based so i configured this module actually configuration settings are not coming to the directly module we have to configure it through our processor or else you can take the software from externally it is giving from outside or in the internet ESP8266 configuration settings so after the configuration settings is proper every time once then next power remove otherwise power connected once once the power is connected first of all you have to observe using Wi-Fi it will show you that open TCP IP open TCP IP so open your right click clear all data clear all data come Wi-Fi it will give you one IP address 192.168.4.1 bulb 1 on bulb 2 on LED on fan on bulb 1 off LED off LED off bulb 2 off fan off Yeah, this is Wi-Fi MCU Wi-Fi MCU based home automation or IoT based home automation by using Android phone 
whatever it may be you you give your name thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to as we have submitted